Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm just journaling. Come on along. Yes, it's the beautiful journal once again. I'm really on a roll getting some of this journaling done, and I think I want to do two more pages, and then I need to grab a different journal and work in a different journal. So I remember I said in one of the um, videos not so long ago that I was in the mood to like grab a journal and do a bunch of pages and grab another journal, do a bunch of pages and that. And that's what I've been doing with this journal. So I guess that came true. Okay, if you start at the beginning, I skipped a page there. And then I am good till this blank page here. So haven't journaled about any food lately. So I have this King Arthur Baking Company gluten-free chocolate chip cookie mix. Well, it's not a chocolate chip cookie mix, I'm sorry. It's just a cookie mix and you can put in your own chocolate chips, which I did. This is made with oat flour. And that kind of takes up the whole page, doesn't it? So here's a picture of the cookies. I put a little sticker there that says yum. And I did put chocolate chips in there. I made them too big. I made them about that big. Usually I make my cookies like that big. And for some reason, it says use a heaping tablespoon. And I put a heaping tablespoon and it came out like that big. Now I'm going to use a teaspoon next time. They don't need to be so big. So this gluten-free cookie mix gets a thumbs up or at least gets a yum and do I want to cut this a little bit do I want some more pretty paper for the background I want to put the picture on there and just journal enough that yes it came out good and this is a thumbs up we'll do this again Well, this is interesting, interesting. I um, got out the pad of paper that this came from to see if there was something in here I can use. And there's not too much in here. And that's a different pad. I don't know why that's there. Um, well, that's pretty. That's got a B on it. Hmm, now I got another choice. So there's that one. I'm running out of room here. I don't remember this gray polka dotted one. I remember that one. I remember that one because that's in the journal. I remember that one because it was too big to use for anything. And this matches that page too. But then there's this one, and I don't remember this one with the plates and the napkins and the forks and I thought hmm this would be good for a food page oops food page and it matches the colors it's from the same set and I tore this one out because I don't know why because it matches but that place of flowers is too big so I'm thinking about what I can do and I'm thinking that I could cut this somehow. Um, 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 I'm just going to start by cutting it like this so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm going to cut it into a organic shape. So 
So we have a plate, a napkin, and a fork. Not that you need a fork to eat a cookie. Okay, that flower's not going to fit. Mm -hmm. Okay, I am going to cut. If you hear some gurgling in the background, the washing machine is on. We have an unscheduled wash going. here. Okay. Like that. And let's see. Okay, these corners don't want to punch. That one does. How come there's always this one corner that just does not want to punch? I don't know why. Oh well. I can worry about it. Um, where's my plate? I could make this a little smaller. I'm just working on it. Something will emerge eventually. wanted some of the flowers to show like maybe around the edge because I have that flower there then I have the cookies and I want to show what kind it is okay I'm not really sure where I'm going with this page but I think it's just going to be a collage of different things. I was considering taking the fork off, but if you take the fork off, this doesn't look so much like a plate anymore. If you leave it on, you can identify this as a plate and it's got a napkin, a flower, napkin holder, I guess. And I want to just show enough of the cookie here, gluten-free cookie mix. I cut out the King Arthur into a circle I printed out a thumbs up. I was going to print out just a, you know, a hand with a thumbs up. And I said, eh, I can just use me instead of going and looking for somebody's thumbs up image. And I think something like this. I put a little bit of this, um, pink sparkly paper as a border because I trimmed there was a little black of the stove there and there so I trimmed it a little bit and then I gave it a little bit of a border it's not really very straight is it hmm oh should I mess with it I do this all the time I mess with it then I'm sorry I messed with it you take just a little bit off and then redo the corner corner does not want to redo uh, 
better. That's better. I'm not gonna be too fussy. Yum, I probably wouldn't even noticed it by the time I got everything on here anyway. Okay, this is what we're gonna do. This will be the gluten-free chocolate chip yum, thumbs up, page. And I think this says it all, very visual journaling here. Sometimes you don't need a lot of words. I might wanna write the date. But that could be my journaling, right? All right, first thing on. All right, so this is all at the top. And this is going to go right about there. Let me just mark it here and here. Okay, somewhere around there. And this is cardboard packaging, so we can get out the big glue. Get out the big glue. Yeah, these cookies are good. I'm still eating these cookies. Still got a couple left. They are huge. But I like a cookie with my cup of tea. I remember um, I was teaching what well, I was teaching first grade I think at the time and I had an aide in the room and we were talking about something and I remember saying I just need a morning to sit at the kitchen table have a cup of tea and a muffin and maybe read a book. <laughs> I guess I was wishing for a day off. And then at the end of the year, she gave me a uh, coupon to the muffin place or a cup of tea and a muffin. I just thought that was funny. They do make good gluten-free muffins. And gluten-free cookies. They make all kinds of gluten-free stuff now. You get used to it. It's, it's, I mean, if you can tolerate gluten, if your system allows you to eat gluten, I see no reason why you should go gluten-free. Because <laughs> there is a difference in the texture and taste. Well, some things like cookies, they get so much sugar in them that... That doesn't make too much of a difference. Get this all pasted down. I just forgot there was plates in this paper pack. Okay, so now I have how many things here? I have three things. And three things have to go. Sort of like that. I want them to overlap a little bit. But yet you can see the background. So the first thing going down is this picture right about there. Get the tacky glue. Oh, I 
have a cookie mix that's a is it a cookie mix or is it a muffin mix that's a thumbs down? I wonder if I should journal about the thumbs down mix so I don't buy it again. can overlap a little bit. That's going to go right there. Just journaling. Just journaling. Being a visual journalist. More visual than words. It's really part of the word showing. You know what that word is. You don't have to leave the whole word showing. Okay, one more thing, the possum thumbs up, the possum thumbs up. I do have another one of these blue flowers that I cut off from over there. I could stick that somewhere. I get this picture. I cut the corners and now I can't peel it. Come on. There we go. Just got to get it started. Stand up for this one. Standing up. There we go. I got a collage. I got a collage. I don't know what I'm going to do with this flower. It might not go anywhere. See, I got a blue flower there. I could just add a flower here. That space right there. Instead of letting it go to waste. Oh, and the date. When did I make these? I just made them the other day. My gosh, I'm still eating them. I like my elements to sort of overlap and touch. So this is on the cookie mix, goes out to the paper and just touches that picture. These are all connected. And let me look for the date. I'll be right back. Well, another page done. That's fun. I like it. I like it. So Starting from the beginning, we are good. Didn't miss any pages. To here. And I still got a few more just for the first signature. That's okay. I got more stuff to put in here. And I'm thinking about putting this in. This is my niece. 
at work on Superhero Day and the nurses and hospital staff during the pandemic have definitely been superheroes. And this is red and yellow and blue. I love this picture of her with Superman. I thought this might be a fun time to use my new paper pack. Yay, red, white, and blue. Red, white, and blue. Let's see, I'm gonna open up my first new paper pack. I hauled these in, was it the last video? Or the video before that? The video before that, oh, I love this white sparkly. I make it a really pretty Christmas page. These red stripes are nice too. Red stripes might be look good. And I can make, maybe use that for journaling. There's a plain red. Could be an edge on the photo. And then red, white, and blue for the background. And then what else is in here? Just plain white, I think. Plain white and sparkly, sparkly silver. It's hard to tell in the yellow light. This is sparkly silver. Oh, I'm so excited to use the new paper pack. I do love these new Michael paper packs, the cheaper ones. The old ones, you get a lot of paper. They're $19.99. And I was buying those when you buy one and get two free, I think it was. And oh, I like this is distressed. They, um, oh, sorry hitting that camera lately. Started with these new 999 ones. And they have um, plain colors and the specialty packs have glitter or foil. And what I like about them is that you don't get so many of each kind. If you want more, you can buy two packs, I guess. But if you want to buy all different ones, you know, collect all 999. It's cheaper. And these were on clearance 60% off, which is better than a 40% off coupon. I do this straight or not? Good enough. Good enough. I just have to make sure it doesn't go over the... I could always trim that. I'm not worried about that. It doesn't go over where you got to fold the page. This is nice. Somebody was making an Americana journal. Heather, was that you? Somebody. This would be really pretty distressed. Red, white, and blue. You would have liked that. Is that Michaels? This pack is called... Do they have names? Do they have names? Hmm. They should put names on these. You know, what's the name of the collection? There is not a special name on here, so how do you order a specific one? Hmm. Hmm. That's interesting. That is interesting. Okay, so this is the background. And this is the picture, which is not very big. 
and it's just a red goes with it to give her a border. Hmm. You do a stripe. You layer it up. Layer, layer, layer. Oh, and I have these. These I think these are from Heather C. She gave me these stickers that are like superhero stickers. And this one would be perfect. Red, blue, and yellow. That's a Superman colors. Or Wonder Woman. She's being Wonder Woman, but she's standing with Superman. Let's see. Yes, yes, yes. Good journal on that. And I don't know what I'm doing. Just journaling, just journaling. First, let's see how a stripe would look. Oh, got two here. I don't want to cut two. I like this. I think my cutter needs a new blade already. Sometimes it's the paper, sometimes it's the blade. If you use the big scissors. Kind of trim that off a little bit. red or do I want sparkly? Sparkly. Sparkly. Sparkly for the superhero. I know I do some weird layouts. That cookie layout was very weird. But you know, gotta accommodate the trash in your journal. All right, so I think the first thing I need to do is cut this because it's too long. And I don't know why I'm dealing with it so long. a particular way it goes. I'm not sure. Okay, I'm going to go off camera and glue these things down. And I will be right back. Okay, I'm starting to get an idea here of what I'm doing. So I've got my background. I've got my border. I did put the picture on the sparkly the white sparkly and I'm going to put the name tag up here for journaling and this is a um, game magazine this is like free magazine I picked up a couple of these and I was looking at this page I was looking for superheroes but this page has these red arrows and I was thinking if I fussy cut these out and I could put them on the page and I could write superhero here with the arrows pointing down that that might make for a fun page. OK, 
I didn't glue that picture down yet. Um, 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 um. I was thinking of using a marker and writing superhero and then journaling with the pen. So. Super. Hero. Oops. Superhero. And where's my journaling pen? There it is. Nurse Ariel. Okay. Somehow I gotta write around this. My tip is just about worn off on this. I wonder if I should get the new one. And I'm gonna try this new pen. And I wrote down the date somewhere. This was on, I think, April 28th. Fit this in here. Superhero Day. Okay. She's also a super mom. She's a superhero and a super mom. All right. So this is the old one, which might be good for something. And this is the new one. And what I usually do is take a piece of tape and wrap it around so I know which is the new one and which is the old one. So this one is the new one. Just so I know. And, oh, I know what I have to do. I have to cut out To cut out these arrows. I'm not the best fussy cutter. I admire Linda over at Linda's Mixed Up Mess who does awesome collages and is really so good at fussy cutting. Of course at night I've got a bit of a shadow in here. It doesn't help. Does not help. Oops. Yeah, that's me cutting a lot of oops, 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 oops. Well, everything is a mess again. So it was either straighten up or journal. So I decided to journal. So my unscheduled laundry today was the cat beds. I had made the cat beds a few years ago. And the cats were sleeping down in the basement for the most part. But since we moved to this house, the basement is just too cold, too cold, too cold. So the cats have come upstairs, but the beds had stayed down in the basement. And 
stinky winky woos is shedding up a storm all over the place. And so I brought the beds up. Mr. Possum said, bring the beds up. I said, oh, they need to be washed. So I'm washing and drying them. I had leftover fleece and a bunch of, um, you know, polyester fill from a bazillion years ago, I guess, when I was going to do a project. And so... Um, I was wondering what I could do with the leftovers. So I decided I would make a couple of cat beds. And they wash up pretty nice. Very fluffy, very fluffy. I think I actually put too much, too much fiber fill in them. This is funny, I go out and buy these beautiful new paper packs and I can't wait to get into them. And using it as the background on the page. And then I go get an old magazine and my shadows are terrible. Add some trash, add some junk to the page. It's not a junk journal till you've added some junk. Oh, on the other page, right, cookies and packaging. On this page, magazine image. Well, Heather be happy I'm using those stickers. I was going to do that. Like that. Isn't that fun? Fun, fun, fun. Fun, 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 fun. Okay. So first things first, glue this down. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. And then I'll have two more pages. Ooh, didn't mean to do that. Don't rush. Don't rush. Take your time. I was getting excited there. It's getting another page done that I've been wanting to do. I'll wipe that off. Okay. It doesn't matter because it's going to be under something. Okay, next is going to be this arrow. See, it was on the edge of the paper, so it's got this flat edge, so I want that to be like right there. And it's perfect. It's pointing to Superman, but these three arrows are going to be pointing to Wonder Woman. I think this one's going on next. And this is a magazine, so I think glue sticks best for that. Even though it's shiny, it's thin. Wet glue is not the best thing for magazines. Look at that. Perfect. Oh my gosh. I couldn't have made one better. Could not have made one better. Look how that fits on the page. Perfect. Okay, now do I want to put the sticker down and the arrows on top? Like that. And then the this is partly over do I need a little glue on here? I don't know how old these are. I know when I wear name tags, when I go somewhere, they usually fall off. So, 
Just put a little extra glue on there. And let's see, that's going to go there. And that's going to overlap there. And that's going to overlap there. So that's going to go right about there. Superhero! Perfect! Perfect, perfect, perfect. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiO. Down to the bottom of the glue stick. I had a feeling I was getting to the end of the glue stick. I've been using it a lot lately, but I do have a backup. I have a backup. But that means that next time I go to Walmart, I'll just get another one. Wow. Okay. I feel like I need something down there, though. Mmm. Let me think about this. Okay, I finished up the page with a little bit of bling, bling, bling here. And what I did was take the red paper that came with this pack and I hole punched some circles and I took the white sparkly paper and die cut some stars and then I took my Dollar Tree whoops, bling bling hearts and put them in the center and because this paper was distressed you could see there and over here, I did take a little piece of sandpaper and just rub it on the paper a little bit just to get a little bit of that distress on the red because the red was kind of plain. So there's my superhero page and I love the way it came out. My beautiful new paper pack, which then I went ahead and put, you know, junk on top, but that's okay. Love the picture, love the page. And my cookie page. So two more pages done in the beautiful journal. And I just want to wish everybody happy junk journaling. Thanks for coming along today. Bye-bye. <laughs>